Health Secretary Dr. Pali Tamahi Pala recently inspected the National Hospital in Kandy. We are trying our best to ensure that quality and comprehensive healthcare service is delivered. As you all know, Sri Lanka is known for good health. <laughs> health indicators, if you go by, we have the best in the region. That is because our human resource is great. They are doing extraordinary work. And uh, this year, we negotiated few projects. One is World Bank project for next five years. For entire primary healthcare reforms, we got money. 230 million US dollars, so 60 billion rupees. So somehow we are going to reform the primary health can ensure quality integrated comprehensive services are delivered at the primary health care level so that the workload come up to the secondary and tertiary will be reduced and then secondary care level again we negotiated with the adb fund and we got roughly 100 million us dollars so that's 30 million we hope that with all this funding and our funding we might be able to look after health services in a more quality and comprehensive way for next five years and one of the challenge now is human resource so i requested the pgm director to call all the of studies after the new year for me to come and address the one is to improve the take up and then of course streamlining the process so that we'll have more consultants and then the intermediate cadre where we have already had discussions with GMOA to have like diploma in anesthesia we identified diploma in surgery medicine so we will have an intermediate cadre also coming up and now PGIM agreed upon this so we need to quickly set up the board of studies for this and start it and nursing of course within this year there are more than 6,500 nurses passing out more than 1,500 midwives passed out so probably all the vacancies in the country will be fulfilled during this year and thereafter it is university intake so we'll try our best to ensure that we can support you all